Hey son, everybody from the dank basement, trying to speak Swedish and failing miserably, this is your wicked Uncle Squinty, also known as Paul Schellbetter. And today, I'm going to peel open if I can get my thumbnail under this tape here. This is Jacobson's Ice Fruit. I keep moving it, the camera will never focus on it. I don't know if it's upside down, upside right. Hope you can see it. Hey, it's a can of snooze. I mean, what can I tell you? But it's called Jacobson's Ice Fruit. This one was purchased two months ago from buysnooze.com. Yes, I purchase everything I review. I do not accept freebies from distributors, retailers, or manufacturers. Thank you for offering. Um, but I want to give an honest review. This tape is being brutal. Yeah, I need to um, buy everything I review because otherwise I would feel obligated maybe to say something nice when there wasn't a lot nice to say. I have received uh, some snuff for free. I got some Abraxas for free about a year ago, but I've never reviewed any of those snuffs that I re received for free. I only review the ones that I bought. So that's true of this as well, buysnooze.com. About four and a half bucks a can. Boy, is that interesting. Mmm, there's fruit. I'm smelling juicy fruit gum. Menthol. Or mint of some kind. Maybe a little, even a little hint of licorice. It's nice. Let's take a look at the portion and see what they've given us. Got to peel one out of the can here. They're packed in very tight. Oh, yeah, these are big. Well, bigger. Yeah, it's a standard portion. Standard portion, sneeze. Um, Jacobson's has a reputation, particularly with their snooses that are labeled as extra strong, of being really strong in the nicotine department. Now, I did not have a pair of eyes here to read what the nicotine level on this is, but the reviews I've read on this from other reviewers say it's pretty strong in the nic department. Um... The reviews I have read, the reviewers didn't much care for the flavor on this, but I'm going to give it the old squinty try, and we're going to see how well it works in my mouth. Excuse me. Hmm. Fruity. Yeah, I can feel the nicotine burning against my gum already. And there's something in there. I don't dislike the flavor of this at all. Hmm. Well, I'm going to give this a minute to develop in my mouth. Um, it's not producing flavor quite as quickly as some of the other snooses I've reviewed, so I'll be right back with you. Well, as expected from the name, Ice Fruit from Jacobson's, um... There is definitely a cooling sensation with this. A lot of menthol, I suspect, in here. Um, it's chilling out the entire gum and lip here. Uh, a very cool sensation. The overwhelming flavor, the best way to describe it is Wrigley's Juicy Fruit Gum. I mean, it's, it's a multi fruit. There's a lot of lingonberry in there, of course, and you'd expect that from the Swedish snooze, because lingonberry seems to be the national fruit. Um... But um, there's more than lingonberry in there. I got a little orange, sort of orange peel scent to this. Um, yeah, it's a tutti frutti. Uh, there's, there's no other way to say it. It's a juicy fruit gum. But imagine that juicy fruit gum was then rolled in mint crystals. You shake off the mint crystals, then you eat the juicy fruit gum. That's kind of what you have here. It's not that the menthol is a taste. The menthol is definitely a sensation. I mean, it is really chilling out my gum line. It's really nice. Um, after about 15 minutes with this in my lip, it's, uh, it is producing quite a lot of nicotine. This is a good one if I can't smoke a cigarette for a couple hours uh, or do another form of tobacco. I like this. Uh, on the squinty scale, uh, where one is fermented rotted shark and five is the most delicious pastry you've ever eaten, Although there may be some of you who like rotted fermented shark, 
Uh, har Carl in Icelandic. Um, this is amazing. Uh, I'm going to give this a very, very happy five. Uh, I don't normally rate snoozes uh, charitably. I tend to be a little picky on snoozes. I find a lot to bitch about. Uh, particularly, I don't like the large portions. And there are a lot of snoozes that taste like tar to me, like, like road tar. Um, and so on. this is not one of them. This is really good. Uh, as far as a beginner's snooze, unless you're ready for a bunch of nicotine, I'd avoid this one. Because I have a feeling, I would guess, now I, as I said, I couldn't read the label. I don't have a pair of eyes here. But uh, just from 15 minutes in my mouth, I'm telling you, this has got high nicotine. I'm guessing probably 24 milligrams, maybe, 22, 24. It's right up there. It's certainly as high as the Thunder Frosted that I just took. And this is not advertised as a strong snooze. Uh, it's just a snooze. So this may be in my head. I'm not sure. But I like it. So it gets a 5 on the squinty scale. 1 being lousy, 5 being excellent. This is a 5. And I think you're going to like this one. Uh, add a tin of it. Or don't buy a whole roll until you know if you like it. But uh, get, a, get a tin of this from... Um, Buy Snooze, Snooze Direct, Northerner. I'm pretty sure everybody carries it. Jacobson's Ice F uh, Fruit. I almost screwed up the name. Jacobson's Ice Fruit Regular Portion Snooze. It's really good. From the dank basement. Hey, do. That's Swedish for goodbye. I got to come back to you here, guys. Um, I... I think I made the mistake of squeezing my lip, and I let loose a whole bunch of fairly nasty-tasting juice into my mouth. Um, it's salty. Uh, that's probably from the baking soda. But, yeah, and it burns when you swallow the juice. Uh, there's a lot of nicotine in here. This is going to be a tough one to gut if you're not used to swallowing a little tobacco juice. Um, it could sicken you. In fact, I'm kind of turning green from it now myself. If you could just leave it in a semi-dry pocket between your gum and your lip and not let it get too much saliva, um, it would be far less unpleasant. I don't like the juices that are coming into my mouth right now. They're really strong. Ugh. I am not going to hurl on camera, so if you're waiting, wait, I might. I'm still going to give this a five. I think about, but right now, it's like a negative six. Because it's juicing so much in my mouth, and I'm swallowing the juice. And I normally have no trouble swallowing the little bit of juice you get from snooze. Like, I don't ever have a problem with it. I don't ever have to spit. Don't have to, ever have to use a... Mud jug. They're mud jugs. Let's save our spittle for posterity. Mmm, delicious. Now, yeah, I'm going to still give this a five. I really like this, but I think you got to be real careful with it in your lip. And the amount of baking soda or salt that's been worked into this recipe makes for a fairly unpleasant taste if you get too much juice in your mouth. Um, as is Wrigley's Juicy Fruit Gum and Menthol. Really strong nicotine. For those of you with a lot of experience with snooze, this probably wouldn't bother you at all. Hell, you'd probably put the whole can in your mouth and go about your business. Me, I gotta get something to drink or I am gonna hurl. From the dank basement, I still rate in a five. I just think my mouth is too juicy. With the Jacobson's Ice Fruit Regular Portion Snooze Review, this is Uncle Squinty. Thanks. <laughs> it's really not that bad, honest. But it's too strong for this white boy. Man.